guys, remember that tea I told y'all about from Gotham for the City Tea when they said that Fredo Bain did get these two lesbian women pregnant? Well, it actually is. He got one pregnant and the other one got pregnant through IVF. But it was some, I guess it was a supporter of someone who really did not, it didn't sit well with what they had to say because they started coming at them and this is what they had to say. So how about the princess responded to someone and she was like, so let me get this straight. You think Fredo and Seven made Parker? crying emoji we did do iui we never lied we just never said how peyton came about kept it back to myself until i was ready now i'm wrong for doing what's best for me laugh my l so someone else was like y'all really wild no kids it's so much for the lgbtq and y'all on here faking for some money not cool y'all knew y'all had relations with that man that's why we don't get the respect that we deserve now and so she responded I'm going to say this one time. Ain't nobody ever fake for no money. I live my life for me on my terms with my wife. Live yours and you wouldn't be bothered by what the others do with theirs. Also, what does LGBTQ stand for? You trying to be a bully and you ain't live your life. I'm going to always live mine. You don't get respect because you're not confident. That's not my issue. Do better. We good. And so as you can see, the person who put this out really did want some type of confrontation going on or really wanted to out them for having a baby with a man biologically and things like that and causing disruption, I guess, with that person and their media followings and things. But everything don't always go as you think you have planned. What you have for someone else's downfall will probably be their upcoming. But someone else that was real concerned besides this person right here are the only ones that I can see keep coming at the couple for this. And this person was like, I don't want to bully you or y'all. You on this page portraying having people follow you because they believe one thing whole time y'all on something else and nobody saying y'all don't have that right y'all don't have the right to lie up in people face she so. said again never lied about anything ever no need to be blessed heart and so the other one reached out to fred obain and was asking about the babies and how they came to be and they was like hard body baby is biological it is through natural relations seventh baby is through IVF. Yeah. So there you have it folks the dad has spoken about who came about and how they came about so we're gonna leave it as that so it looks like l debarge was arrested on suspicion of heroin possession and weapons charges allegedly something that he's been going to jail for for over the many years this don't make no sense i thought that he would have learned by now i guess he didn't learn nothing about how to continue to keep going to jail for the same things so according to burbank's pd they reportedly detained L. DeBarge around. Authorities discovered that DeBarge's plates were expired, and as they approached the vehicle, they noticed an extendable metal baton in clear view inside of the singer's vehicle. 3.40 a.m. on Sunday, officers did not pull DeBarge over. The singer was already parked at a gas station. The baton is an illegal weapon. Officers then had probable cause to search the car further. Officers alleged located pepper spray and suspected drugs. And also, according to TMZ, the single was detained and charged with various offenses, including possession of a leaded cane or baton, possession of a controlled substance, and possession of drug paraphernalia. And according to law officials, the narcotic in question is heroin. So guys, I really hope that he and his family gets the help that they need because the drugs have ravaged this family and he and his brothers have been going to jail for years over the same thing. Allegedly. So it has to come to an end sometime because for one, you're getting too old. And then for two, you're a repeated offender of the same thing. And for three, this is what allegedly ruined y'all music career. And so for four, you may not even get out this time. But he did have a bail set for $25,000 and he was released. Moving along. So we all know that Big Scar has passed. May he rest in peace. But it seems like his family won't get credit where credit is due. They have Bass, Gucci Mane, and his wife and saying that he didn't pay for anything. They didn't get any flowers. And then Keisha K. York, you know her. She keeps record. She came out with the receipts and everything. They were so unsatisfied that the brother had the audacity or the cousin, whoever he is, to call the funeral home and actually ask about the receipts that was proven and showed to them was it from this particular person and the funeral home was like y'all gotta ask the parents of this person we cannot give out that information so check him out calling the funeral home trying to confirm something that he didn't put any money in 
They finna, they finna answer your phone today. Hello, J. Ford. Hello, how you doing this morning? Doing fine, you? I'm doing well, I'm doing well. Just calling, I had a, I had a little question for you. Mm-hmm. Who paid for that phone now? Did Gucci pay for that phone? Sir, we can't disclose that. You'll have to talk to his, uh, the young man's parents. No, nah, Gucci wife put that receipt up there. We just trying to find out. We the people. <laughs> we the you have to talk to, uh, Mr. Alexander or Miss uh, Tika, you have to talk to his parents about this. I'm gonna call Gucci. All right, I'm gonna call Gucci. Okay. I'm gonna call Gucci. They're my cousin. All right. Okay. All right. All right. All right. And then they just would not let the rest. Kept talking about Gucci Mane wanted the the chains back and things like that, and he didn't pay nothing and blah blah blah. And all the whole time, the daddy done came out and he done said he can't let y'all throw that man under the bus like that because he are the receipt. And then it turns out the whole thing is because you want to do a, a video. You want to use your brother money allegedly to do a video, a low budget video for you. Gucci did what he did, y'all. You know? So everything else out the window. Atlanta Records did what they did, y'all. Gucci sent 10. Atlantic sent 10. I paid the difference. What difference does it make my son gone still? What does it matter, you know? They didn't do that to, for, 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 they, they did that out they hard and I appreciate them. You know? It, it, they didn't have to do that. And so as you guys can see, the father was very appreciative of what anybody had did to help him out burying his son. And the younger generation of kids, cousins, and brothers and sisters were ungrateful and unappreciative of the things that were done for their brother. Even though everyone's supposed to have an insurance policy or something for themselves to be buried in all. They said that their brother did allegedly so... You know, we just going to leave it as that. But they just was pressing so hard and so much because a person did say that. But, you know, if you say something, be a man and stand by it, which the receipts show that he did do what he said he was going to do. And the daddy confirms it. Said, Gucci ain't help with shit. Like I said, Gucci ain't help with shit. 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 Fuck you, Tommy. I don't give a fuck about no receipts. No punk ass 10,000. Oh, they, they want enough. My brother, friend was... 60k in all beats and so a lot of people felt that the brothers and sisters were just you know and then i guess after the funeral was over with and his brother was out there with some other people and i guess they decided to shoot a music video for him but a lot of people wasn't feeling how they was trying to handle things and how they was coming at the 1017 label and gucci man about the entire situation and this is what they had to say the song was like the song better be all struggle I want to hear we ain't have s at least six times throughout the whole song someone else said he's rolling in his grave right now for this one they wanted to use bro money as the budget for the video crying laughing emoji better not be rapping about having money and lastly wasn't they just complaining about 10k or something laugh my l and so as y'all can see the people are not having it and he done just made a bad image for himself because now if you're trying to come out as an artist, everybody gonna remember you for not having no money and complaining about somebody else who gave money for your brother to be buried. I just really hope after all this going on, Big Scar can rest in peace. And lastly, y'all, we have Mariah Carey who is getting full custody or trying to get full custody for her twins since Nick Cannon had so many other babies that he doesn't have time for his first children, his first set of twins that they both had together while they were married. And you know the way things are looking and the way Nick Cannon says he never has time to even, you know, see his kids that he's accumulated and stuff. 
and he really thought that he could stretch himself thin like that but he really can't do it and he can't be in one all these different places at one time allegedly that you know she may be able to get full custody you just come visit because you're not being in their lives like you're supposed to be and you made that decision when you kept having babies and babies and babies like that was cruel or something but you don't only want to know why you keep having all these babies and so according to reports carrie is going to petition for primary custody because the reality of the situation is that my Monroe and Moroccan are with her anyways and Nick doesn't see them much but he makes attempts to see them as much as possible and so it's being said that she wants to put him on notice that he can't just flip in and out of their lives while he's also attending to the other children so she wants a legal standing as the twins primary caregiver she's not trying to punish him or anything but she just feels compelled to do what's best for their children this is what some people had to say someone said nick cannon going through something it's uncanny for a man with only two kids for the past decade to start bearing children with multiple women like this mariah just trying to protect her kids because at the end of the day it's a lot for them as well as the oldest it's only been them for so long where is all that well he can afford them people at no matter how much money you have nothing replaces actual time spent with your kids good for her he needs to just get all of them three times a week at his house so that way all the siblings have a bond with one another and he doesn't have to hop house to house and everyone is getting equal time with him someone else said as she should parents who have so many kids really don't think stuff through and someone said if they with you majority of the time and you want full custody you basically have just want to make that man life hard and last a laughing crying emoji people swore he was dividing his time with 700 kids evenly and still working 568 game shows be for real for real so yes that's you have it folks it is a lot of kids that he has he knew this as the numbers kept gaining and getting higher and higher Hopefully, he'll sit down and think about what he's doing now because if you can't even spend time with your first two kids and now you got all these other 10 kids after that, baby, and you can't spend time with them and you trying to stretch yourself for the new little babies, this is not going to work. I don't blame her. But anyways, guys, this is all I have for you right now at the moment. Subscribe to the channel for more updates and give me a thumbs up. Share if you care. Tell me what you think about this entire situation down in the comments below. Turn on your post notifications so you'll know when the next time I upload. And I will talk to you guys sooner than later.